In this video, I'll show you how to secure your TeamSpeak 2 server um, using the TeamSpeak 2 admin client and Perl mod. Uh, I have all these links right here that I'm going to paste on the side for you in the description so you can access them easily. <coughs> we'll first start off by downloading all this stuff. Uh, paste it into your browser and save it onto your desktop. Uh, the Active Pearl, you'll, you'll have to have Active Pearl to do the Pearl mod, but I'm not going to go into that, so just go to that link, download it, install it, and you'll be good. Download all that. Um, this is the Active Pearl link. I'll just show you where to go to. Uh, and just click right there, download, save file and just install it. Next, uh, go ahead and extract these two, the configurator and the Pro mod. First I'll explain the admin client to you. Uh, open it up, go to at the top where it says TS admin client, go to connections, right click, Add server, new server, uh, name of your server, your server address. Uh, if you're hosting it, then it's localhost. Your TCP query port, um, by default, it is 51234. And your HTTP port, by default, is 14534. your login name for uh, either your server admin or your super admin. I'm going to log in with super admin. And hopefully this is not your actual super admin and uh, username and password. Don't keep your login name as super admin. Change it to something else. So it's harder for hackers. Um, as you can see here, like it doesn't show the uh, super admin logged in can control your server without actually being on TeamSpeak. No, uh, I can kick him. Uh, this is also a little bit in German, so just like figure it out. I mean, uh, do you want to kick look, kick this player? Ja, Nien, uh, go ahead, f figure it out. Yes. Um, you can shows you everyone that's registered to the server and things like that. And then the next thing I'm going to show you is uh, Pearl Mod. Uh, assuming you already have Pearl Mod installed. Member join. You want to I like moving the configurator into the Pro Mod folder, so you can do whatever you want. Really, go into the Pro uh, configurator, run the exe, and put in your server address, local host if you're hosting it, your TCP port which is five one two three four, and then your UDP which is your uh, server port eight seven six seven by default your super admin username and password uh, okay um, features there's you can uh, there's extended welcome message like when someone wa uh, logs in it'll have the server uh, extended message and then you can have another one uh, a list of bad nicknames it'll yeah, it won't allow the server won't allow those nicknames that you add into there. Um, protected users. Uh, well, it tells you a description of everything up here on the top, so just read it, figure it out, do whatever you want with it, and then uh, save it. I'll I'll do a welcome message. Save as, and then you do whatever you want. Save it as. Uh, default dot ion or just default okay 
and when you go into uh, you can title that when you go into the configs folder you should have a default ini right there and then the text files right there leave that open on the side right there go back to your uh, ESU Perl mod go into it uh, go into the configs folder go into your configs folder on your uh, configurator copy this paste it over onto the Perl mod side and do the same with the text copy paste paste to all and then oh yeah, go into the configs and the main reason I'm trying to show you guys this is for the anti-flood feature you want to enable this max connections um, Uh, let's say 10 for every uh, 10 seconds. Uh, hold on. Say max of 5 connections for every 30 seconds. And this is in seconds, yeah. Uh, file, save, and you're done. Go back up to your TS2 Pro mod, watch the .pl, and if everything, if you put in everything correctly, that's what you should get. And then test it out. Uh, log in, and then the extended welcome message right there. Uh, yep, that's it. And if someone tries to flood your server, it'll ban them. Uh, yep. You can, if you have multiple admins on your uh, TeamSpeak server, I would recommend like limiting their privileges and limiting their privileges, of course. Uh, so. You, they they can't really access the super admin client because even an admin that has even a person with admin can use the super admin client or the admin client login to your server. So yeah. Well, I uh, hope that stops people from trying to flood your server. But uh, yeah, good luck.